everybody, this is Perch. I'm getting tired of Perch. It's nothing like my real name. And uh, I feel like, I, I mean, you know what? I mean, it's been too long. So um, we'll just try out some new things. Hey, everybody, this is Fred. That's not better. Anyway, I'm going to say something that I think may surprise. I, I don't know if this may surprise members of the channel. And I suspect it's not going to be terribly popular. But but here goes anyway. Um, the purpose of the video, you, you obviously clicked on it. You see the subject and the thumbnail and everything else. So Wildstorm and the Wildcats are uh, going big in D.C. in November. And it's the start of uh, several kind of bigger infusion efforts of bringing the Wildstorm characters into the D.C. universe. There is an ongoing Wildcats comic, and that's what we're going to talk about here in a second. But before we get into all that, I want to throw out an opinion that may be controversial. And it's simply this. Um, I, I Wildcats was not my favorite book uh, back in the 90s. I, I thought there were some interesting pieces to it. It's fun. But you know, if I was doing my top 10 comic series, Wildcats wouldn't be on it. Um, that takes nothing away from some of the great talents, Jim Lee and others uh, that did stories for Wildcats. It's just, uh, you know, it, it, it. all things considered, I mean, if you, if you, you know, stack it up against, you know, all the other comic series out there, it, it didn't, it didn't actually have that many issues, all things considered. It, it stopped and started a number of times. And it was fine, but never really got that epic run. Like there's, there is no 50 issue run of Wildcats, but I have nothing against it. I'm not saying I dislike it, but what I pretty sure I am going to dislike is a uh, 2022 revival of uh, Wildcats. And it's just a sense of, you know, if it, if it truly was a comic book, like it, what it was in the past, if it truly was that kind of nostalgia book and it tried to capture that feel again, I think it'd be you know, reasonably enjoyable. And nostalgia is never as good as the original, but still it would be fine. But what's going to happen is, um, you know, is it's going to kind of take the characters they are going to be familiar, but they're going to be thrown in contemporary things. And the writers won't be able to help themselves, but make contemporary references and probably joke a little bit. Like I remember when VHS was cool. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to Blu-ray though. Ha 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 ha. Remember old things. And then uh, they'll move right back into, oh, Grifter, when did you get a Twitter account? I don't know, Void. And it's like, uh, I, you just, you, I, I can, unfortunately, and I hope I'm wrong, but I can just feel it coming. But uh, so that's just my perspective. I, I'd almost rather just let it be, you know, and, and not try and bring it back. So, but, but let's get to the news. So that's just my opinion. I'm curious what you think in the comments below. Hey, like and subscribe. See, I'm doing it earlier. I'm, I'm learning. That's what good social media YouTubers do. They, they, they pimp the channel any chance they get. Hey, free nudes at uh, 40,000 subs. You know, I, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, not a me. Good Lord, no. Um, but uh, so let's get to this news about Wildcats. So um, in, the, in, in November, we're getting a number of new things. So we already heard about the Batman Spawn crossover, which is, you know, obviously, you know, tying into Todd's book. Um, there's a Wildstorm 30th anniversary special coming out in November. There's a black label book called Waller versus Wildstorm, uh, which fits into this Wildstorm universe as well. And then um, we get uh, Wildcats as an ongoing um, and then a ton of 90s uh, variant covers and everything else. So at any rate, um, so what, what all is going on? We're getting that collection of Batman Spawn. It's got a new cover by Griff McFarlane and Greg Capullo. It's going to cost 20 bucks. It'll be a hardcover. And then uh, the actual brand new Batman Spawn uh, book, which will be uh, McFarlane Capullo, comes out December 16th. Then you have this, uh, as I mentioned, this 30th anniversary book. So that's a 100-page special, reprints a bunch of short stories, work by Jim Lee, J. Scott Campbell, Brett Booth, friend of the channel, awesome guy, Dustin Yugen, and, uh, and, and more, some, some text pages, some new stories, um, and, you know, probably, and some reprints from the various Wildstorm characters that have been part of the DC universe. And they're doing some new stories in there uh, by Ed Brisson, Brandon Choi, Josh Williamson, and Matt Rosenberg. Uh, Brian Hitch is going to be doing some art. So that, that could be a pretty, pretty neat, nifty thing. Um, that's uh, a special issue, 100 issue. For the cheap, cheap price of seven ninety nine, can you believe it? So anyway, you have that going for you. Uh, J. Scott Campbell ha is doing one of the covers. There's several, and it's a remarkably restrained cover for J. Scott Campbell. Um, you know, doing uh, Caitlin Fairchild. So anyway, there's that. And then you get this um, four issue uh, limited series, Waller versus Wildstorm, and this is Spencer Ackerman and Evan Narcisse uh, with artist Eric Battle. 
And this is a 1980s set story of the Cold War um, as the intelligent agency Checkmate uh, gets wrapped up in this fight between Jackson King, who is Battalion, if you remember that from the comics. He was a leader of Stormwatch, and uh, he's going up against Adeline Kane and Amanda Waller. So, and there's a, they promise Deathstroke and some other people are going to be making some appearances. Uh, some of the old Stormwatch uh, characters are going to be in this, and then, you know, various Checkmate and uh, Waller and, and uh, you know, Deathstroke, as they say. So then the, uh, you have this, this brand new Wildcat series. So this is going to be written by Matt Rosenberg. Uh, Matt Rosenberg uh, obviously uh, did uh, his run in. He's been working for DC for a bit, did the run in Marvel, uh, was a writer of the X-Men. Um, and artist Steven Segovia is going to be doing this new ongoing series. And they tease the first major battle is going to be the Wildcats versus the Court of Owls. And they say they're going to uh, heavily spin out of the recent appearances of, uh, you know, Grifter, who is in Batman. And he's he is the grifter, for some reason, is the leader now. And he's going to be leading the Halo Corporation operatives, um, you know, as they go into battle with the Court of Owls, which, uh, you know, I mean, again, this is if you remember the Wildcats in the 90s, you kind of have the feeling like they should be able to mop the floor with the Court of Owls. Like, I, it shouldn't be a battle. Like, I think Wildcats was, was relatively overpowered back then. But anyway, I, so... I don't know. I, I, I'm not trying to diss something before it's done. Some of the art and covers certainly do look pretty nice, and I'm sure that will be uh, great entertainment. Uh, but all the same, you know, we got Zealot here, we got Grifter, we've got Void, we have uh, the various members, uh, you know, uh, many of the members of the team. Looks like uh, Voodoo is here. Caitlin Fairchild uh, maybe is on the team. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, it looks like she is. Uh, Deathblow is on the team somehow. Lady Tron. I, I, I mean, Okay, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I, in general, I, I have a hard time believing this is going to hit the same kind of high notes that the original did. And, and maybe, you know, more power to them if they do. Hope they do. Would love to see something kind of new and original come out of all this. Uh, we'll see where it all comes from. But uh, in, it, I, I, again, I have a hard time believing that even though Rosenberg has expressed and has for a long time, by the way, he's saying he's doing a lot of interviews saying, oh, he always loved the Wildcats. But this checks out. It, it, honestly, if you go back years, he would tweet about how much he liked Wildcats. So this isn't a new thing just because he got the gig. I think he does legitimately like this property. But I, I just, you know, I, I just have a pretty cynical view of characters from the 80s and 90s uh, coming back. And them trying to do something uh, powerful and meaningful for I, I just I don't know doesn't usually work out. But I'm curious, are you going to be buying this? Um, it's from DC, obviously, and it's uh, what? Oh, how much is this going to cost? Do we do we know here? I'm not sure. I don't know that I have this uh, this cost for the new ongoing Wildcat series. But safe bet, it's going to be three ninety nine first issue, probably four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I I don't know. Uh, but you know, there there you have it. And like I said, a bunch of 90s covers, including a, a nice one of uh, Princess Diana uh, in her jean, you know, denim look, uh, showing off her ass, who, which is clearly following my advice that you put butts on the cover, you sell comics. Anyway, you know what's what's scary here is how many people who are listening to this channel who did covers or did, did comics with butts on the cover uh, because they listened to me. And if so, hey, good for you. You're, you're selling books. It's smart. Uh, but now every time I see a butt on a cover, I'm going to think this is somebody who's punking my video in some way. Anyway, that's all there is. Thanks for listening. <laughs>